the weight's gonna do what it's supposed to do and you're gonna be looking good, okay? Hi, we're back again. This is part two of the Bubble Butt series. So we're not doing a series. I'm just gonna give you guys some extra tips on how to grow your butt. So in this video, guys, I'm gonna be telling you the tips that you need to be pairing along with your gym workouts. Number one, we're gonna get into consistency. Duh, everybody knows that. So we're gonna keep this short. It's two to three times a week at the least. If you're gonna be doing butt workouts, or even if you're not going to a gym, do them at home. You can get yourself weights from Amazon. You can get yourself resistance bands you can get yourself ankle weights like anything that you can use at home and even in the gym to make sure that you're being consistent the next tip so this goes along with your workouts pushing to failure so I talked about that in my previous booty workout video you got to push yourself to failure don't quit on yourself early don't quit because when oh, you're getting tired it's fatigue you're done with your set give yourself be like yo I think I got five more in me I could push it you have to really make that muscle feel like it's getting work honey and that's where that growth is gonna come from but if your weights are like super super heavy and you feel like you're gonna um, compromise your posture or your body do not push do what's best for your body and what's safest for you be safe the next tip increase your weights gradually so if you're noticing that your butt is not growing it's probably because they're used to the weights that you're using your butt is not going to grow any further when it's like been there done that you've got to challenge it okay and then challenge it with switching up the workouts so maybe one week you've done glute bridges and donkey kickbacks and maybe the next week you can do the hip abductor machine and then you can also do squats if you want you know me i'm more like a no squats no shots type person but squats are on the table Switch it up so that your glutes get surprised because that is really going to go a long way. Take enough protein so that you're going to be helping those muscles build back. That's why protein supplements are so helpful and a lot of people are able to finally break through with their muscle growth. This next one goes out to mostly my slim kims, the skinny minis, right? I want you guys to know that you cannot be afraid to eat. Guys, you got to eat. Don't be afraid to gain that weight. Put it on because if you're consistent with working out, the weight's gonna do what it's supposed to do and you're gonna be looking good, okay? Don't be afraid to eat that extra bowl of rice and beans. Don't be afraid to go to Chipotle and say, hey, can you make that extra rice and beans, please? They will do it, it's free, <laughs> just so you guys know. So my thicker sisters, y'all y'all are kinda already blessed, especially like the shorter ones. Y'all are like a little bit stockier, so you protrude in all the right places usually. Now I'm not saying by any means you guys need to be going out and eating pizza and eating muffins and junk food. At that point, you're not really doing what's best for you internally and you're not giving yourself the right type of weight. You can start your day with carbs knowing that you're gonna work out later and expend that energy for lunch make sure you're following up with protein those are the top tips that i can give you guys with how to actually break through and see real growth on your bubble butt journey and that's really it guys keep it up and you're gonna see growth faster than before that is all for this video guys apply these tips let me know if you've seen any benefits as always thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you like this content so that you know when i'm posting more bye till next time